Mary Sue has played for 15 to 20 minutes without opening her music. And I think it is so uh, precious that she would have this uh, anointing and uh, this love in music to be brought to our hearing uh, with thanksgiving for these 16 years of the Lord's leading. And when I talked to Florence uh, and Jerry a few days ago, they didn't know, Florence didn't know whether Jesus wanted us to have Mary Sue come down. I said, oh, please bring her. Bring her Wednesday night. Maybe we can be there. And uh, Oliver and Barbara and the parish will be encouraged. Amen. Oh, it's clear out the best dream is better than the best dream. If you please. Yes. Thank you very much. So we're grateful that uh, see, she's never opened her music in 15 to 20 minutes. Yes. Right. And we've been privileged to hear a harpist oh, from yes. the city of Chicago, Illinois, because God led me years ago. Right. See, if I hadn't have gone down and listened to her play one hour, and in the second hour, and in the third hour, not one day, but another day, and another right. day, and then back again in so many months. And we just shared with her at times, and if it hadn't been for that, I would never have taken her to Israel. We would not know her. Right. It's because of God's guidance. And we want to thank him for this beautiful privilege we have hearing this beautiful daughter play to a, for the Lord's work here in this church. So marvelous, isn't it? You see how she has to keep this instrument tuned. Now your soul gets out of tune much easier than this instrument. The strains in your life gets out of tune much quicker than this by... How much prayer it takes to keep our harps of the soul in tune before we get out of tune so easily by stress, strain, by many circumstances. Like this instrument, uh, as it's worked with, it has to be tuned again. And that's the way it is in the soul in order to walk with God. Thank you.